You're good. All right, Coach, we'll just start with um, Pac-12 season starting this week. Where do you feel the team is after a non-conference? I think we're in a great position. You know, this is year three for me and my staff, and uh, five wins, one loss, and two draws, six shutouts in eight games. I think that's pretty good, and uh, it was a challenging schedule. We didn't uh, – we don't sugarcoat anything with the soccer team because when you get into this conference, it's for real. And we have to prepare ourselves for the non-conference just like it's the conference. And we had eight quality matches, eight matches that went back and forth, eight different variations of teams and looks that we had to, uh, to face. And uh, a great test to our group. So again, I'm very pleased where we're at. Six shutouts, eight games, five wins, and only one loss. I think we're ready to go. And have you seen any surprises with your personnel so far? No, I, th I think the surprise is how young we are and how well we're doing right now where we're at. Again, um, I had hoped we'd be in this position. I don't know if I would have bet that we'd have uh, this strong as a team unit defensively right now. And uh, on the flip side, we're scoring goals too because I think that was the question coming in is that we're pretty sound in the back and goalkeeping. And as a team uh, defensively, where are we going to get this offense from with some younger players? But these kids are stepping up again, and uh, we're excited where we're, where we're headed. Okay. In one game this week, it happens to be number two, Stanford. How are you preparing for Stanford? Like we do every year. I mean, it's, they're, they're one of the best teams in the country, one of them been the premier teams in this conference, Pac-12 champs that numerous times, national champions. But we're going to go out and do what Washington State does as well. And, uh, you know, they are the highest-ranked uh, offensive weapon now in the country, the most goals, uh, I think, shots per game, assists per game. So they got a lot of accolades on the offensive side. But I also think we have a lot on the defensive side. So I, I think it's going to shape up to be one heck of a match on Thursday night, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, you touched on it a little bit, but uh, six shutouts, five wins. Are you, are you surprised at all with how well your team support has performed so far? Is that, is that about what you expect? No. In, in tradition, Washington State soccer teams have been a, a, a gutsy, gritty, hardworking team that, that defends and, and, and then plays some good soccer around that. So I'm not surprised. Again, I think the only thing that's uh, – makes it uh, interesting in a good way is that how young we are and we're getting three or four or five freshmen in the game and they're doing their job. So that, that's, that would be the only thing that I would say that's a little surprising. And as, as far as Stanford goes, do you change anything as far as how, how your game plan is formed or are you just trying to play your game? Play our game. They are who they are. We are who we are. And uh, the last two years, it's been two years ago in Pullman, it's been double overtime. And last year was a 2-1 game as well. So they're Stanford and we're Washington State and we look forward to it. And specifically about about Maddie Haro, how, uh, how, what does she bring to the team? Like on the defense in that final third, like what what do you think she brings to this team? Well, she's a soccer player once, so she can play out of situations. Um, she's got a great left foot. She's obviously been involved in the attack and scored a couple goals, has a couple assists. So uh, defensively, she does her job, but offensively, she gets involved, and we want our outside backs to get forward, and, and she's absolutely supplying that for us. All right, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.